The disasters in Japan shut down some factories and slowed production in others. That could impact your ability to buy consumer goods like TVs, computers, and cars. Kelly Grant is on the show this morning to talk all about it. Kelly, good morning to you. Good morning. And we're not just talking about not getting the product that you want, but the prices may change too. Certainly. We're seeing a lot of slowdowns, and it's not just from earthquake and tsunami damage. A lot of the factories, even in unaffected areas, are having problems getting a steady supply of power. The roads aren't great. They're having problems getting people and supplies in and out. And certainly there's a shortage of workers as people try to rebuild. Let's talk about this cell phone. Mm -hmm. Made, compiled, really assembled in China, but the lithium-ion battery made in Japan. You say think beyond Japan. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, obviously, we're going to see shortages of products that are made in Japan. Toyota Prius, a lot of Sony televisions are assembled there. But uh, the big problem with Japan is that a lot of the things that are manufactured there are not just components, or not full, full items, but components like your battery or components of components, like the transistors that go in the microchips that go in your computer or the navigation system in your car. So a lot of companies are still figuring out the extent to which they rely on those products from Japan. And we could see some more widespread shortages. You're not going to ship your car without a navigation system in it. You mentioned cars. Let's talk about that for a sec. Nissan, Toyota, GM expecting fewer new cars in the lot. If I want to buy one of those new cars, what does that mean for me? You're going to see higher prices, and it's not that they're raising the sticker price. It just means that the dealers, because they know that they're not getting the new supply, they have the ability to say, well, we're not going to offer those cash back incentives, and we're certainly not going to haggle if they know that demand is high for a particular car, obviously fuel-efficient cars, given where gas prices are going. You know, they're going to raise the price. Is there still a way to get a deal? There is. You can shop around, certainly th for different dealerships, to see what prices they're offering. It's also a good time to look for a used car, one of the recently um, recent model years might be a better deal for you. Big question a lot of people are asking, if I want an iPad 2, <laughs> hot gadget on the market right now or one that's coming up, am I going to have to pay more for it? Well, Apple is of course saying that you're not going to have a problem. There is a bit of a wait right now for an iPad 2 and certainly that's something that we're expecting to see more of for electronics. If it's a hot electronic and they can't get some of the components, you might see a bit of a longer wait, might be some empty shelves, but probably not higher prices. There's so much competition in a lot of these key categories that if there aren't a particular models of TVs on the on the shelf, then the other manufacturers are really going to be competing to try to get you to buy their TV instead of just waiting. This earthquake, Kelly, a little over two weeks ago, how long will all of this last? It's really going to depend on how fast Japan gets back on its feet, and certainly the government is doing what it can to get things back in gear very quickly, and a lot of these individual companies are doing what they can do. Um, most of the analysts I've talked to have said that we should see things clear up by midsummer, hopefully at the, at the, uh, the latest. All right. Kelly Grant with all the info you need to know. Kelly, thank you so much from SmartMoney.com. Thank, thank you. For stopping by.